Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing. I know I'm I'm late. I know I am still bad with money, but yeah, today is the 10th anniversary, so it's a a nice time to open this set too, even if it has released like uh, 10 years ago. Uh, 10 years, yeah, of course, 10 days ago. Uh, yeah, but I will open the the Japanese 10th anniversary set too, but of course it's still in Japan, so. Yeah, we will have to wait for this, but probably like maybe in one week I have it here. But yeah, first let's look into Dissonance Diva. And yeah, I do really love this set. I love the uh, the style, the flair, the, the flavor the flavor of this set. It has like this gothic emo girl vibes. It's like, yeah, it's mom, it's not a face like meme type. It's yeah, Black Tama or like Emo Tama. Listening to uh, my <laughs> my chemical romance. Oh, I should have, man! I should have put on the my chemical romance shirt I have. But yeah, I I wasn't expecting to get this box today because it was just shipping yesterday from my partner store Pokeboo, and yeah, it just arrived in one day. I'm super super happy. So yeah, let's look into the beautiful cards and hope for some some nice pulls. We have Pale La La Labi, <laughs> Emergence, and yeah, there is now the, the color restriction of V-Cross is now lifted. Before you could only put the same colors as, okay, I, <laughs> I wonder that they didn't censor it. Maybe they have given up. I know that they have censored at least one. There's one card, sent. it's also a red signy. Maybe red signies are just down bad loot, <laughs> I don't know. But there is a red signy that has been censored in English. But I don't think that many cards has been censored uh, from the artwork because it was very revealing. And we have a uh, Hanayo artwork opening signal. Yeah, I do, I do love just the parallel falls. I, I know I say that probably like in every Every video, every unboxing of V Cross, but it's just too good. Like the cards are just too beautiful. And yeah, I will I will focus a lot more on V Cross in the future. I still have to Yeah, figure out my my bad spending habits and have to narrow down on a fewer like TCGs. Like in the past I have opened a lot of different TCGs. But I want to narrow down on uh, V-Cross and ZX because of budgeting. But I think I've seen this in some decks, Madoka, with the cookies. At the end of your turn, if this signal is up, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is uh, the Sona card, draw a card. Yeah, I think I've s I've seen this in decks. <laughs> oh, it's a token. Uh, it's Miku Miku Defense Squad. This looks cute. Usually I'm not big into uh, chibi, chibi artwork style, but this is super cute. And yeah, from the from the Elrics on the set. Yeah, I have to admit, like Emo Emo Tama is my favorite, but they do all look amazing. Uh, second to to Emo Tama, I would say is Hanayo. He looks just like a gothic queen lady. Gorgeous looking and uh, and the colors are very cool. We have Eldora assist. We can play her in the opponent's attack phase. Yes, the enter ability, the first and second life cloths put into your check zone this turn gain. Uh, life cloth effect, choose one, down target signy on your opponent's field, draw to. Huh. She sounds cool. She costs nothing. Oh, I think you can do some stuff with her. A tau wheel. Oh, a tau. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but she looks cute. I just remember her in the in the color red. Now she is a a white signy. I think there is like uh yeah, some somehow I I think that the Elrics are always in the same color, but this is wrong. It's just in my in my head. As another token, this time with the Yuki Yuki, 
I think I have pulled this LR in in my Japanese box. I've opened one, yeah, one Japanese box, I think. And uh, there's always like one LR per box, so I think this was my my pull. And Hanayo Tragic Flame once, yeah, this is like the the gothic queen artwork I have in my mind. I do really, really like this artwork, especially with the hat and the flowers and yeah. She looks like just a cool lady. I do like that it's not so so childish. And oh we get oh that's fitting. Because there's always one one Signy uh to the Elrigs, like they belong together, they have synergy or effects. And this is the the super rare Signy that belongs to Anayo. Looks so amazing. Just a shame that we get this. Oh, this shatter foiling. I do not like it. That's why I, I like it when we get reprints of super rare cards in in starter decks or trial decks, like in double heroines. Because in the in the starter decks we have a different kind of foiling, so I I rather play or look at the the starter deck foils. Than the regular as ours. Yuki Pure and Impure Miku. Not a beautiful artwork. And we get Elsie. Eldor. She's a little bit like my curse. I did pull a SRP of her. I think. And an LRP? I don't remember. Like I. Uh, I pulled a very high, high hit of her. I wasn't the, the happiest about that. It's not my, yeah, one one of my least favorite. Eric, sorry. Yeah, uh, we get Imo. Imo Tama in a uh, not so nice looking art art style. Are we? And Miku Miku extra. But yeah, maybe I should have. Yeah, sorry, I should have read. Most of you probably know the cards by now because it's so late. But. Uh, Let's take a quick look at Hanayo, what she's doing. She's like the new uh, aggressive Elric. At the beginning of your attack phase, if all the Signy on your field are Dishona, you may pay red and colorless. If you do, target Signy on your field gains Assassin or Double Crush. So yeah, once per turn or like at the beginning of your attack phase, if all, yeah. So you can do this not only once or twice, like every turn. And uh, yeah, we get more Dissona Signy in the next set. That's why I'm super excited about the future of V-Cross because we know what's coming and what's coming is great. So yeah, from from my experience with the Japanese V-Cross boxes, it's just getting better. So I'm very, very optimistic for the future of V-Cross, at least from, from my perspective, from what I want or like in the TCG. It's just going to be a great time. And yeah, she has the once per turn ability, discard a card, draw a card or inner charge one, which is also great for cycling or to get more Anna. And exceed four, crush one of your opponent's life plot, just aggro, just in your face. Uh, you can just exceed four. So it's, it's kind of once per game, but maybe in the future there are, are like ways to grow bigger or like to to get uh to get back the the things from the Elric trash. I don't know, but the the wording that it's just exceed four and not once per game, I, I think this sounds like sus like hmm what what are you prepare pre preparing for? Like what's coming next? But yeah. It's basically at by now it's just a once per per game. Uh, rickshaw diso disona code right and mel she looks also great in this artwork she looks more like a kunoishi like a female ninja oh and we get the this should be the tama yeah this is the uh the disona or the the signi that belongs to tama man my my head is just uh, running blank, but yeah, she looks great, and she has like the the enter ability. 
if Tama, so the Emotama, is on your field during this turn, if target Signy on your opponent's field is vanished, it is put into the trash instead of the Ana zone. So it's, yeah, Ana denial. Um, this is really cool and great. I don't know if I can, like, build decks because yeah, I have now, I have bought three boxes. And at the moment, it's not looking like I can buy more. So, yeah. And that's it's a bit it's still difficult for me to get single cards. They are more expensive and not as easily accessible like in in the US. And also like the boxes. The boxes are so much more expensive than in America, which is a shame. But I still I still want to support V Cross long term and Yeah. I hope the next set I will be able to to open at release day and not like 10 days behind. I will try my best to be more careful with my money. And we get the first piece, Lancer in the Dark. Okay, It costs one green. It's a Dream Team uh, piece, so that means we can only have one, one type of uh, Dream Team piece in a in a deck, as far as I remember. And the effect is shuffle all cards in your trash into your deck and enter charge two. Then put up two target Zona Signy from your Ana Zone onto your field. Oh. Then target the Zona Signy on your field gate. S Lancer. Oh, yeah, finally. So the difference between Lancer and S Lancer is that uh, Lancer usually just crushes the life plot if a Signy vanishes an op opponent's Signy. So if your opponent has no life cloth anymore, the Lancer is doing nothing. It's just, yeah, poof, gone. And S Lancer is not only crushing the life cloth, it's basically doing damage. So it's killing the opponent. Yeah. If there are, if there is no, no life cloth, deal damage to your opponent directly. So. Uh, Lancer is a way to to end the game. And Lancer, so S Lancer is ending the game. So instead of Lancer, just not. Man, I'm so I'm so bad at explaining things, but sorry. Yukime, Dishona, and Sangha, Dishona type 1. I think from the preview I saw... Oh yeah, this is the... The box stopper, of course. I was hoping for Tama, for Imotama, but maybe in the in the next box. Oh yeah, it's. Oh, yeah, you have to be careful. It really smells like chocolate, so you have to suppress like the your tongue. Like when I smell it, I I feel like my tongue wants to stick out and lick the card. I should probably do this not on camera, <laughs> but yeah, it smells very very nice. Not like not artificial it really smells like chocolate like you really want to lick it but yeah uh there's also a miku miku a imotama probably hanayo also i think there were like five or six box topper edora burst rush oh and leila the rowing vigor She's also like following me in. In which set was the center Elric of her? I don't know, but I have opened like three boxes of the set, and in two of them there were uh, L R Layla. Unfortunately, and I'm not a big fan of it, of the character. So yeah, not the best pull for me. And the S R of Yuki. Yeah, this is the. The Sona Signy that belongs to Yuki. I will not read like all of the, the text now. I don't want this video to be too long. But yeah, maybe if you are interested in, in that, uh, you probably already like know the cards or yeah, let me know in the comments. Maybe in the future I should like take a little bit more time to go into the cards. If if you want that, just just let me know. I can adjust to what you want from me. Uh, we get the BFF. 
the Sona to Mel. Okay, this is Mel. Mel's the Sona. She comes with a lot of a lot of food. It's like a food stand. That's cute. But still no no LR. Maybe in this pack. But this artwork, this looks very creepy. I would like to get this in foil. With like the eyes. Yuki 100 Calamity Miko. Yuka Yuka. And okay, it's, it's not the LR. It's another piece. Another Dream Team piece. Costs one white and one colorless. And look at the top three cards of your deck. Reveal a Dissona card from among them and add it to your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Gain a Signy Barrier and an Elric Barrier. Oh, this is like a new, a new thing with this with this set, the barrier types. And they do the next time you would take damage from a Signy. Instead, consume a Signy Barrier and you do not take that damage. The next time you would take damage from an Elric, instead consume an Elric Barrier and you do not take that damage. I really do like that it's not restricted to like the next turn. Like it's not a not an effect that says uh, the next uh, the next turn when you would get damage from a signal you don't get it or it's it doesn't matter if uh, if it takes like one or two turns until you would get damage from a signal. So yeah, I really do like that it's not restricted. Hana you mimic and yeah all of the Dissona cards of course they will get better with time when the <laughs> What? Uh when the environment has changed and we have gotten more Dissona Signy and <laughs> is this scripted again? Always when <laughs> with Recos it happens so often that I say that I want this or that card in foil and it's like oh no I, I get it. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, complain that I want to pull a UR, just be greedy. Not yet, but oh, this looks cool also. I really like the floating hair. He looks like a, like a yokai or like a, yeah, like a ghost demon girl. Very nice. I, this, this gothic and yeah, the flavor. Is just too good. We got it. Yeah, this is the Elric barrier. I haven't looked at the, the other tokens. If there was like a Signy barrier also. Or maybe we are still looking for a Signy barrier. We get I Miracle Rolling Elric Assist. Looks great. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Put a card and up to one other card that does not share a color with that card from among them into your Ana zone. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck and then you... Oh, this is a fact that I don't remember seeing a lot too. Like getting uh, colors that you really need or want in your Ana zone can be difficult sometimes. Because usually you just Ana charge from the top end. Sometimes you can like know or man manipulate what's on top of your deck, but usually you just blindly put things into the Anna zone. So being able to choose what you want in the Anna, especially when you get now greedy, since we don't have a restriction of color anymore. So <laughs> maybe you put a lot of different colors and cards that need some colored Anna. And yeah, this is really good. That you get a, a special a special color into your into your Amazon. Miko Miko. I think this is the first time we see her. She's like very typical Sukubus mate. I don't know, she's like the I do like her, but from from a character design, she's a little bit too much like cliche, like too much Yeah, not so original, I would say. Sorry, I, I do like her, but I, I just think that uh, the character design is just like, okay, I feel like I've seen this before, this, this style, so not my favorite. And we have the last pack of the, the unboxing, and uh, there should be an LR, bo uh, LR 
in this pack, hopefully. If maybe I got an error box without a hit, but okay. Okay, we get Emotama. <laughs> Better late than never. I don't think we have we have gotten the we got the level three Tama and I didn't notice. Maybe I talked over it, sorry. But yeah, level one uh yeah, level one Elric. It's not a face Tama. Beautiful. And yeah, let's hope for some some more good pulls in the next boxes that I will probably be opening in a live stream. I don't know. Let's let's see. Thanks for watching so far. And oh no, I have to of course I have to open one last uh, booster pack in every of my videos. And yeah, this is the Force of Will pack. And also like if you want to pick up V cross boxes for yourself, you can do this in my partner store Pokeboo. And you can also save with a Weep Save 5 discount code. You can save 5% on your on your order. So yeah. Get some V cross for yourself. Treat yourself. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.